What up, War Robotters? Solve them here with another video. So this is another video in my uh, How to Win and Get Better at War Robot series. We're we'll talking about why we lose. I've lost a lot, so this is kind of all the mistakes I've made and uh, taking the time to help all of us learn from them. All right, here we go. One of the reasons we lose is because we mech out. We have a slim hanger, only three or four bots in the hanger, or they're low level, or we just play over aggressive and get shredded too early in the game. So this is you know, one of the reasons why uh, if you're in a clan and you're asking, you know, what should I get, this bot or that bot, and someone says you should actually unlock your fifth slot, uh, fourth if you need to get, if you don't have that one. Um, but look, commanding lead to start this game and now, uh, to end this game, and now all the bots are wrecked with <laughs> two minutes left to go. So watch out for that. Another reason why you lose is because you get dumped into a mismatch, uh, 4v6 or 5v6 match. Uh, these are always hard to win. Uh, best thing you can do is just do your best, but this is really frustrating when that happens. Another reason why you lose is because you're out of position. So we do have the center beacon. We have a 3-2 uh, lead in the beacons and a little, uh, little more team energy. Um, so I'm coming down here to defend center because nobody else is. I don't have no idea where the rest of my team is. Fortunately, red is, is back. So this is a perfect opportunity to push forward. Ah... Uh, so even though I want to kind of stay protected in this, this fury a little bit, I'm having to, to come up here and try to fight these robots on the bridge. Okay, finally someone comes up, but no one is noticing that stalker to the left because there's nobody up here. Since I'm the closest bot, I'm going to have to try to chase down this stalker in a fury, which sounds crazy. Of course, he's cloaking, so I can't hit him. Red is taking center now. And there's this weird glitch in the game here where you can't walk over this low curb. So he gets by at a perfect opportunity to, to, to zap him. Steals our beacon. I mean, this is kind of like two things, like being out of position and like not paying attention. Uh, can't let stuff like this happen, I mean, especially on your man too. You know, recapturing these beacons is a pain. Okay, so now there's one guy over there. Red has a four beacon lead. You gotta always be watching out for your far home beacon on your man too. And this is a board that you always need to be in position on. Poor map management. This is another reason why we lose. Over here, you're gonna see two lances in a foot race to get the same beacon. Like, why are the slowest bots trying to beat each other to this? Like, you don't, you, you shouldn't do this. Let one bot go get the beacon so you can go handle business somewhere else. Another reason why we lose is uh, we lose focus. So right here is a perfect opportunity <clears throat> to go uh, capture center while taking out some weak bots in the mix, but instead, you know, I decided to go over here and shoot this other robot that had no energy, which I probably could have gotten trying to take center. So I'm Shen Shenzhen, you don't get many perfect opportunities to, to go get center, and I've got, I've got the bot to do it here. I got the Ansel Shield and, and good health. Uh, should have gone to get it in there. I had another chance to get it, decided to go fight this Rajin, because I like blowing up Rajins. That could have been the difference in the game. <clears throat> Another reason is camping too long. You know, you can't lose sight of the energy bars. I'm going to just play this game super fast so you can you can see in real, well, in quick time how you lose sight of what's going on. So, Red has a three beacon lead. Uh, now we've got the lead. Now Red's got it back. 
and I'm just camping out over here. Now we're only have one beacon. Energy starts going down. <clears throat> I know we get these awesome capper bot setups, and we don't want to bail on them, but at this point, uh, it's it's kind of close if we're gonna be able to pull this off or not. But we're definitely getting low. And I'd say if you hit the six minute mark and your team doesn't have the beacon advantage, it's time to jump out of your out of your camper bot. So at this point it's it's probably too late. They have almost half. You you gotta get out of it. This is terrible on my part. You just you're not gonna camp your way to death. So now I finally got blown up and I'm out here. I made it a fantastic brawling bot, but it's, it's too late to do anything. Another reason why we lose is because we waste our bots. Like, don't take your bots on the needless suicide missions. So there's a weird conditioning that happens in this game that you start with those destroyers and like nobody can blow anyone up and you're just out in the open and you're just shooting each other non-stop and you can't even do that much damage and it kind of conditions this like walk right out into the open and then just shoot back and forth at each other until one bot dies but it's like you level up and you get better like people hide and shoot from around corners uh, and are really alert uh, to people out of position so as you level up and get better at this game you gotta break that early conditioning of this game of just like walking right out and like taking on everybody like this is not good uh, that was a bad time to try to take center and then this was a bad matchup trying to take a bot with the energy shield with orkins from far uh, don't put your bot in suicide missions. Here's another one on Yamantu. Definitely trying to win this, but this is not the way to do it. To just jump out in front of everyone, uh, especially not with with Orkins. I mean, Orkins are great for taking out one focused target. Plasma would have been better, where you can shoot at multiple targets, but that was just a, a bad suicide mission. Another is like not pushing, and this is another reason why I lose, is that people drop into the map with too many camping bots, and this is not a good map to have multiple campers. I'd argue you don't need any campers on power plant. So <clears throat> avoid that, just start with a brawler. So not holding home beacons. Don't let your enemy ever take your near or far home beacon. Here, I totally should have done that. I had a great brawling bot to go up there and muscle that beacon back. But for some bad reason, I decided to go take center because it was open. Uh, there would have been time to come get this. I mean, no one's even around. I would have been able to take that bot out and go get it. Uh, over here, you definitely want to do what you can to take center on your Montu. Um, but on this map, do not stay up here in this little splash dome, splash box area because you can get destroyed by splash damage. So I should have backed back down the ramp at this point, but stayed in here. And you're gonna see I'm gonna get blown up. I don't even take a direct shot. That a trident explodes in the background and that splash takes me out. Not paying attention uh, will get you killed in this game. Here, this is actually a one on two. There's another plasma griff around this corner, and I'm expecting him to blow me up, and he never did. Fortunately, I was able to shoot through this uh, Galahad, um, but this guy never joined in to help his buddy take me out. And I mean, if you can force a mismatch, like take it. Work, work is two to take someone out. Uh, not looking before you leap. Don't jump around snipers. Uh, you know, we're part of the way into the game right now. You should have a good feel for where the snipers are. Definitely don't jump where you know that snipers are sniping. Next, 
don't ignore shielded bots, especially when you're walking around a corner. Because it's almost always a Carnage Thunder or, or a Lancelot. Both are going to shred you fast. They're easy to find because there's a energy shield indicator next to them. So this is the thing about playing war robots is that we make a lot of unforced errors and obviously these are all the ones that I've made. Uh, but it's important to learn from your mistakes. And if you're a bronze or silver player and you're, you're looking to, to get better, like I guarantee that you're making some of these mistakes. Um, and if you want to get better, like you've got to clean this kind of stuff up because players at a higher level, like assume that you don't know what you're doing until you prove that you do so uh, dialing down the amount of mistakes that we make in each game is going to greatly help you win more games and be a better uh, a better team player so don't do what I did and uh, learn from the, from these mistakes I just posted. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be uh, making more of these. Woo woo! Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, then like it up on YouTube, man. Quit playing around. More coming soon. Stay tuned. If you have any requests, let me know. Stay awesome.